Uh, I'm Shannon Bagley, the Chief of the Battle Creek Police Department. Uh, we're here today to give a statement regarding an incident that occurred yesterday. So I will read the statement, we'll watch a video, and then I'll answer a few questions, okay? Yesterday, February 15th, at approximately 9 a.m., officers from the Battle Creek Police Department responded to 62 East Michigan Avenue regarding an unwanted subject at that establishment. The subject, who was later identified as Dario Aguello, a 29-year-old male from San Antonio, Texas, was, at the request of management, asked to leave that location. When officers arrived at that location, he left without incident. Approximately 3 p.m. later that day, Mr. Aguello was a suspect of committing a felonious assault at 1 North Monroe Street here in the city of Battle Creek. Short time later, at approximately 3.30, Mr. Aguello went back to the location at 62 East Michigan Avenue. Upon his return, management contacted and requested the Battle Creek Police Department to respond due to concerns about his behavior. During this time, Battle Creek Police had been attempting to locate Mr. Aguello regarding the alleged felonious assault that had just occurred prior. BCPD officers responded to that business and located Mr. Aguello seated at a table. Officers recognized Mr. Aguello and attempted to detain him. Mr. Aguello was initially compliant, however, when the officer attempted to handcuff him, he resisted and no longer complied with the officer's verbal commands. As you will see in the video, Mr. Aguello continued to disregard the officer's commands and slowly began to walk at her. The officer attempted to tase Mr. Aguello, however, it had no effect. Mr. Aguello then rushed the officer, knocking her to the ground and attempted to disarm her. Patrons inside the establishment rushed to the officer's aid and attempted to assist her. As backup officers were arriving, they observed Mr. Arguello on top of and fighting with the officer. One of the backup officers attempted to tase Mr. Arguello. That had no effect. During the struggle, Mr. Arguello continued to attempt to disarm the officer, ultimately shooting her in the leg. The officer advised the backup officers that Mr. Arguello had her gun and that she had just been shot. One of the backup officers then shot Mr. Arguello to stop his actions. Life-saving measures were attempted on scene. However, these attempts were unsuccessful and Mr. Arguello was pronounced dead on scene. The officer was transported to Bronson Battle Creek and treated for non-life-threatening injuries. This investigation was turned over to the Michigan State Police as a standard procedure in officer-involved shootings. We will now play the video and we'll take a few questions. 